joined by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Kurt Westendorf, after a 65-58 to win. Coach, got to be pleased with the way your team came out, competed here, and got the win today. Oh, yeah, I thought we played a really, really complete game out there today. I felt like early on in the game we had great offensive looks that weren't dropping for us. Again, it was a little bit of deja vu from the Grand Valley where we had good looks, just couldn't hit them. But our defense was much more consistent throughout all 40 minutes. You know, defensively for us to force them into 20 turnovers, you know, we'd really tried to take them away from their guard game getting into the paint. They did a better job in the second half getting downhill on us. But no, our kids, they came out and they competed, and I'm really, really proud of all 40 minutes. Obviously, uh, they got out to a 20 to 12 lead at the end of the first, but you had a big second quarter that uh, really allowed you to kind of take control and get the lead here in the ballgame. Yeah, really, that la the end of the first quarter, they went on like a little 7 or 5 0 run to finish the quarter. We had two bad defensive breakdowns that were really uncharacteristic of the way that we had played the previous 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So that was just a little bit of an aberration. I thought we did, we did a nice job in the second quarter of just sticking, sticking with what we had done, All right, sticking with our patience and just getting the ball downhill and moving the basketball. The shots that we missed in the first quarter, we got the same ones in the second quarter. We finally knocked them down. I think we were four for eight from three in the second quarter. We shot the ball with our feet ready to go. Um, it really kind of gave us some momentum going into that halftime where we were up one and it really felt like we should have been up more with how we had played the game. But we, would, we, we were happy with having a one-point lead and I'm glad that we were able to build on it in the second half. Obviously, got to like the balance here today. Uh, Deshaun Day with 14 points. Zoe Anderson had 10. Uh, McCartney and Blanchard did a lot of scoring here early in the year, but you've got some other players that have really stepped up here offensively. Yeah, we've done a nice job of some people stepping up with some confidence. They're, they're really in an attack mindset. Their, their mentality has been really, really good. That They're trying to go get that open space, not just deferring to Mal and Caden. Plus, a lot of defenses are putting their best defenders on Mal and Caden. And so I think we've seen that over the last couple weeks that, you know, they're starting to draw a bulk of the attention. Um, but that's where our patience on the offensive end is starting to really pay off for us, that we're not just two, three actions and then we're just jacking the quickest shot we can find. We're having some patience in the offense. If they're guarding things well for the first 10, 15 seconds, eventually they're going to break down if we run our stuff with enough pace and enough speed and with enough people being aggressive. So those players that you just mentioned, you know, with Ellie, Zoe, Deshauna, those players staying aggressive is what's opening up those things for them because they have a little bit more of a favorable matchup. Obviously a nice when you can hit some uh, shots from the outside when you get uh, Zoe Anderson, Sam Krause, uh, some other players hitting those three-point shots that kind of open it up for you. Yeah, when we can move the ball quickly and they're taking those shots when their feet are set, we're really hard to guard because the way that we try to space the floor, and I think our spacing's been pretty good. If we have people that they're worried about getting out on the three-point shot, the driving lanes open up even more, which is going to just lead to more downhill stuff. It's going to lead to more paint touches. And then when the ball is going to that paint, we got the defense kind of on their heels. The defense is kind of chasing. So yeah, the more that we can knock down from the outside, the more it opens up all the other parts of our game. Obviously, uh, you come back tomorrow and uh, get the Cardinals again. Uh, anything you expect them maybe to do differently coming into tomorrow's game? Well, we came out, we were very aggressive against their ball screen. So, like, we, we, we either trapped them or hard hedged them. We kind of hard hedged them to start the game, didn't do as good a job of it, so we just started just trapping them. So, we just went after them because that's the base of their offense. It kind of took them out of their rhythm. They weren't able to get reversals and change the ball side to side and kind of wear teams down like they tend to. So, they're going to be a little more ready for that. They're going to do it, but probably have some slip actions ready to go. They'll probably have some other counters that are coming for that. So we got to make sure that defensively, you know, we try to stay a step ahead of them, all right, and improve our defense, then kind of look at some of the things that they might be able to throw at us to kind of kind of combat us being aggressive. Um, plus, we have, a, we have a few more tricks up our sleeves like we do every weekend going into 80 minutes of basketball. You have to have a few different plans of attacks ready to go. So we got a couple other things that we can throw at them if they're starting to figure us out. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks, Rob.